person who killed Nipsey Hussle was a person from their neighborhood. According to the information that I got, dude was asked to leave because he was a snitch. And then he came back and sh intentionally shot Nipsey Hussle. Now, if all of these accusations is true, and this guy was literally a snitch, then it also makes everything we said true. The government killed Nipsey Hussle. This is not hood, this is not gang related. The media is going to put it as gang related because they think when two black men from gangs beef, this is war. It's not. This gang related crimes are niggas from two different hoods. This is a person from the hood. So if this is a person who cooperated with police, then he's a person that has been talking to police from the beginning. And in order for a person to come over there, let me tell you something. When you from a hood and the scenario play out like this, you know what you do? You catch the fade. If he's a snitch and Nipsey Hussle told him, you can't be around here because you a snitch. According to homeboy and hood rules, you catch the fate. If, if, if we are homeboys from the same hood and you tell me I can't be somewhere, I'm going to tell you, move me then, nigga. Then we going to run the fate. That's how the hood work when you homeboys. But if... Somebody tell you, not just somebody, this is Nipsey Hussle, a person who stands for peace. If somebody tell you, you can't be around here, you leave and come back and intentionally kill him because he said you can't be around here, this is a paid job. This means, no, we're going to go into a, a larger conspiracy theory. This means, I mean, we all know what jail is. We all know what jail do, right? right? I keep telling y'all, I got a lot of big homies where I honestly believe that these niggas are FBI. I got a lot of homies in my neighborhood that's big homies that's still telling young niggas to do fucked up shit. And I question what happened to these niggas while they was in jail, because they did some years. So I question what happened to these niggas, right? Then this one, you gotta get deep into MK Ultra. You gotta get deep into mind control. You gotta get deep into consciousness switch. You gotta get deep into all that, right? So we're gonna go into that area of this scenario. If this person left the premises and came back with intentions to literally kill him. Somebody paid him to do that. Now, we're going to tell you this. We're from the hood. News in the hood spread quick. When something like this happened, it spread quick. So everybody know who did it. Everybody know where everybody at. You from L.A. You ain't got too many places to go. Nigga, you either going to go to San Bernardino, Rialto, Vegas. Bitch, you ain't going nowhere else. It ain't no... When, you, when niggas do crimes in L.A., you only got a few places to go. LA niggas ain't got nowhere to go. You ain't get on no airplane. You only going somewhere driving this bitch. San Bernardino, IE area, possibly Moreno Valley, nigga, Lancaster, Palmdale, a motherfucking nigga, that's it. So, my question is this. How is the nigga not in jail yet? How is he not caught? How is he not caught? Because this was a paid job. This nigga in witness protection somewhere. It's a paid hit, bro. This a paid hit. Want me to tell you how I know it's a paid hit? Or if it's not even a paid hit, it's a government hit. And I'm going to tell you why. Want me to tell you why? I'm going to give you proof that it's a government hit. 
because the mentality that is given to these type of niggas was created by the government. So I'm that's 100% proof is government hate. Because the mentality that is given to niggas to think like this is a program that was installed in us by the government. So it's a government hit off the gate, right? But when you watch the footage, this man made sure Nipsey Hussle was dead. Made sure. Made sure. Watch the video, bro. He shot Nip. He came over Nip, shot him again. He seen Nip was still moving. He came over Nip and shot him again. Then kicked him. And then walked off. You made sure Nip was dead. Let me tell you something. Nipsey Hussle is the voice and he's the voice and he's the motivation of Los Angeles. Nipsey Hussle is the voice and the motivation of the entire Los Angeles. He is today's Tupac. You don't kill people like that. You don't kill people like that for a small chit chat. You don't, you don't, you don't kill people like Nipsey Hussle because a nigga tell you you can't be around here. You don't kill people like that, bro. You don't kill a peacemaker because a peacemaker tell you you can't keep on top of y'all being in front of the set. You don't, it don't work like that, bro. This is government. This is a hit. You can't, Nipsey is not a nigga to be envy of because he literally is trying to help everybody. It's not a nigga to be envy of. So you don't kill people like this. This is a hit. That's an assassination. You gotta think, it only took $300 to infiltrate the Black Panther. They paid nigga $300 to infiltrate the whole Black Panther. Look, they paid the niggas what to kill Malcolm X? Like, bro, history repeats itself over and over and over and over and over and over and over. This is a hit, this is an assassination. This is a hit, bro. This is a legit assassination. It is a legit assassination on the only motherfucker in the rap game that is telling people the right shit to do. I see all these niggas crying. Man, y'all niggas better save y'all tears, bro. All y'all punk ass niggas crying. All y'all fake ass rap niggas crying. Say y'all tears, my nigga, because y'all could be doing exactly what Nipsey doing, but y'all ain't doing it because y'all niggas is pussies. So I don't want to, I hate to see all these niggas Posting up videos, Drake's and all these niggas. Fuck all y'all, my nigga. All y'all niggas posting up it, man, Nip was a real one. Bitch, you in the same position as him. The fuck, nigga, y'all niggas could have did the same thing. The fuck y'all niggas crying for and mad and sad. Bitch, y'all niggas in the same position and not even thinking about doing what he doing. So I don't want to hear none of y'all niggas tears. Save all the fuck shit. Save all the fake sad stories. Save all that shit, bro. Save it. I don't want to hear nobody crying. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear no none of these mainstream celebrity niggas crying and being sad and posting R.I.P.s. You was a real one. If you got the nerve to post R.I.P. Nipsey, he was a real one, and you wasn't doing none of the shit he was doing. What that say about you? How many songs, how many videos you got telling people to buy back their community? How many videos you got telling people about Dr. Save? How many videos you got telling people it ain't about game banging, it ain't about shooting and beefing with your hood, it's about sticking together, unity, black leader? How many, how many videos y'all niggas got of, of speaking like that? None. Zero. Zero. But y'all niggas crying. I just heard half of y'all niggas' last album. I just heard a lot of niggas' last albums, and all through the album, shoot, kill, rob, stab, hurt, pain, shoot, kill, rob, I don't want to hear it. You know why Nipsey Hussle is so important to us? Because we only had one of them. How we got 160 billion some rappers in the world today, we only got one Nipsey Hussle. How? 
How we got hundreds, some billion, some rappers in the world? We only got one mainstream nigga that's trying to do right. How? How? Explain that to me. Every one of these niggas is part of the problem. Every one of these rap niggas, every one of these industry niggas, every they don't even know it. Every one of these rap niggas, every one of these industry niggas, every one of these, every one of everybody is all part of the problem, bro. Everybody. They don't even know. Niggas part of the problem and don't even know they, they, they the problem. They just think they making money and they think the labels fuck with them. They think all the people fuck with them. They think because they could go perform in Europe. They think because they got a Europe tour and all the white kids is going crazy because they promoting violence music. They think that's it, huh? You think all these white kids going crazy because you promoting violence? Oh, no, this is a part of their grandfather wish list. Let's pump this nigga head up and make him feel like his songs is lit when his songs is literally talking about killing more black people. Let's buy all the tickets to see this shit. Yo, my nigga. talking to y'all about this shit for the longest y'all niggas not own because y'all hot y'all not own because y'all make good music y'all not own because people really care about y'all you niggas is in position because y'all promote what destroy us and these higher up niggas will make sure y'all get paid to promote everything that destroy us alcohol all y'all do is show pictures of y'all throwing money in the club with alcohol, Rolex, chains, diamonds, Gucci, all that. Bro, y'all niggas get paid to promote everything that destroy us. Y'all not rappers. Y'all not leaders. Y'all not none of that. All of y'all niggas is part of the problem. And you part of the problem when you don't even know you part of the problem. That's, make, that's what make it even worse. So, like I said, I don't want to I don't want to see no niggas crying. I want to see no niggas. Because if you if you going to post R.I.P. Nipsey Hussle and you a mainstream artist, instead of posting R.I.P., bitch, pick up where he left off. Get online. <coughs> All right. How many of these niggas got online and said, yo, Nipsey Hussle was right. We need to stop this black on black crime shit and we need to come together as a, a, a community. How many niggas you seen post that? None. Niggas posting videos, crying and driving and shit. How many niggas you seen post his agenda? Huh? How many niggas you seen post his, how many quote unquote real street niggas you seen post his agenda? Not him as a rapper or a person. How many niggas you seen post his agenda? Shouts out to Nick Cannon. But I'm talking about all these other fake niggas. Nick Cannon ain't get online and sympathize and cry and all the extra shit. Nick Cannon jumped online and said, we gonna finish the mission like a motherfucker nigga supposed to. Because when you part of the army, my nigga, what you do is when you see somebody fall, you pick the knife up and finish the goddamn war, my nigga. But you can't expect niggas who ain't even in the war with us to even finish it. You can't expect it. They ain't in the war with these niggas is in the world against us, my nigga. It's only a select dog. I had a long talk with my nigga Ab Soul about this today, dog. We was talking about this. And we say, you know what, Soul? We got to finish it, bro. Me and Soul is working on a project right now. A joint album. Me and Ab Soul is working on a joint album right now. I got to We start the first song tonight. We working on a joint album right now. Dedicated to all of the people that need to fucking stick together. Me, Ab Soul, Dizzy Wright, David Banner, Killer by the list goes on. We gonna put the, look, niggas who see what we see and understand what we understand. We gotta stick together because they gotta separate it with the Grammys. They gotta separate it with numbers. They gotta separate it with who got the best album, who the most lyrical. They gotta separate it with all this bullshit, and that's the easy way for them to knock us down one by one. We all, my nigga, fuck Jesus, fuck Muhammad, fuck all them niggas. We the fucking gods on this fucking earth right now, living. 
500,000 years from now, they're going to have a Bible on Absol control system. They're going to have a daylight Bible. They're going to have all the shit that niggas tried to do for the world right now, my nigga. So while we here, my nigga, we got to stick together, bro. They can't allow us to be separate. We got to stick together while we here. And we got to write a Bible. We got to write something that's like a Bible. We got to put something that's going to sit, right? You know how niggas wrote the Bible? A couple of niggas got together and said, we need to write something collectively that ain't going nowhere. That's what we need to do, my nigga. We need to put out a project collectively. A bunch of positive minds need to put out something collectively that ain't going nowhere forever, my nigga. United we stand, divided we fall, bro. Look, I love y'all niggas. I love everybody, bro. But I'm gonna say this loud and clear. We the fucking gods of today, my nigga. We gotta stop praying to all these imaginary niggas in the sky and pray to the niggas that's on earth trying to save you right now. Fuck all these imaginary niggas, Moses and all them. Fuck them. It's niggas on the planet right now trying to save niggas. Don't tell me about no Noah's Ark and all. Fuck them. It's niggas on the planet right now trying to save niggas, bro. We got to stick together. We got to stick together, y'all. If we don't stick together, they going to knock us down one by one over and over and over and over and over and over if we don't stick together, bro. They going to knock us down one by one. It's easy to knock us down if we ain't sticking together, bro. This shit like the movie 300 Spartans, bro. It's only 300 of us. We fighting a fucking army, bro. We fighting a war we know we can't win. We know we ain't gonna win this war. They too deep. They got too many weapons. They got too many fucking tricks up their sleeve. We can't win. But what we gotta do is stick together so we can send a signal to the future. We gotta be willing to die on this fucking battlefield. When one nigga lift they shield, we all lift our fucking shield. When one nigga block, we all block, bro. It's only a little bit of us, my nigga. It ain't that many of us. The rest of these niggas is all enemies, bro. The rest of these niggas is all enemies. All these rap niggas, all these uh, all these niggas is enemies, my nigga. They all really working for the people. Y'all don't really understand. My nigga, let me break some down to you, my nigga. If, a lab if you walk in a label and they say, let me hear your music. And you got songs about destroying your own community. Listen to what I'm trying to tell you, my nigga. If you walk in a label and you have music that literally promotes the destruction of our community and the label tell you that's what we going with. We going to invest money into this. You think they care about you? Really, no, listen to what I'm saying, y'all. Really think about this. If you have an album full of content that is designed to destroy our community and somebody walks out of the office and go, I like this. Yeah, we're going to invest all type of money into marketing behind this. This is the one we want right here. You think they really care about us? You niggas don't even know y'all working for the people, bro. Y'all niggas don't even know y'all working for the people, bro. Y'all don't even know. You think you lit. You think you the man. You on tour. You on stage. The crowd. You think you the man, huh? Y'all niggas is police, all y'all niggas, FBI, all y'all niggas, all that, bro. 
y'all been carrying out these people agenda since the since the early days of hip hop. Y'all been carrying out these niggas agenda, bro. You wonder why all these rap all listen to all the music we've been listening to since we was kids. Just go back and listen to it, my nigga. Go back. Go back and listen to all the music we've been listening to as kids. Go back and listen to all the major artists we've been listening to since we was kids. And tell me these niggas ain't undercover agents working for the people to destroy us. Go listen to it, my nigga. I could put in 10 CDs right now from the 90s to the 2000s. And you know what you gonna hear? Shoot that nigga, kill that nigga, stab that nigga, rob that nigga, sell dope to our people on every motherfucking track, bro. Fuck these niggas, bro. Fuck them. Fuck them all. I don't want no to fuck them. Go listen, bro. Go back and listen. Go back and listen to all the music. Just go.